Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to get started with using formulas in Excel. I'm showing you this in Windows 8 and Excel 2013, but all the things I'm showing you here will of course work on earlier versions of Excel also. So to start with, we need to know what kind of information Excel spreadsheets can contain. As you see, Excel is uh, made up of sheets and Excel workbook is made up of several sheets. By default in 2013 it is one sheet. The sheet in turn contains cells. These cells are numbered and each of the cells have a name just like on a chessboard. You see this cell here is called D4 and uh, this one is called A1, A2, A3 etc. You can see here in the name box here what the, the currently selected cell is named. So each of these cells can contain three types of information. One of the mo more common one is uh, text. So if I simply type in costs here, that's a bit of a headline, and then I can just add another item here for food. As you see, these cells now put the text by default to the left However, if I in the cell C3, which is the current one I've currently selected here, type in 150 for food, then you see that by default is entered to the right. If I, however, put in something else here in the cell, I can edit the cell by clicking here in the edit box or by double clicking in the actual cell. If I put in 150 kilos of food here, you see that by default ends up to the left. So now Excel is treating that like text, not as a number. And that's very significant because you can count with the numbers, but you can't really count with text. So I'll just have a gas here and now 50. Now this, of course, if I want to uh, make a sum of this, I can do that. And of course, now this is very easy. 150 plus 50 is, of course, 200. And if I type that in, that looks correct and it works but then we're really not using Excel as we're supposed to. We're supposed to make Excel do the math for us. That's what it's good at. So instead of just typing in the 200 here, I'm going to type in an equal sign. And again, I'm going to do the wrong thing. I'm going to type in 150 plus 50. And that, of course, also gives me the right number here. But what happens if I change the gas to 75? The yeah, sum down here doesn't change. So now I'm finally going to do the right thing. I'm going to use references. So instead of doing the equals, typing in the numbers, I'm going to type in the cells where the information is kept. So I'm going to click on or type in the um, cell where the food is contained here. So I'm going to click there. And as you see, it's writing now C3. And then I'm going to do a plus, and then I'm going to click the next one, C3 plus C4. And now I'm going to press enter, and of course I have the right number. And there you see the benefit of using a formula. You actually can type in the numbers, and the formula updates automatically. And that's the main benefit of using Excel, really. So. And that's what I want to show you in this demonstration, how you get started with using formulas. So this means the formula that I've done here is simply equals. And equals, you can trans translate that to an instruction to Excel that the following thing, do the math on that. Calculate C3 plus C4. And C3 plus C4, of course, uh, is 180 plus 30, making it 210. And now you see Excel 2013 also highlights uh, the cells being used in my calculation here when I go into edit mode on the C6 cell here. All right, so uh, let's show you another thing and do the same thing. And I'll just add an income down here and I'll just do a salary of 1000 and then I'll do a remaining or something here. And of course the remaining will be, again I'm doing equals here, and the salary minus the costs, right? So this is again the same thing. Equals stands for calculate C9, the salary, minus the sum of my costs, right? So I'm going to do enter there, and now we have 790. So if my salary changes, you see 
that the numbers change also down here, the remaining. So that's the basics of using formulas. Let's take this one step further though. There's a lot of built-in functions. So for example, this the plus here, if I have a long series of numbers, that gets rather tedious putting in all the plus signs. So instead of using the C3 plus C4, then I can do this instead, equals sum, and then sum this range. So this would read out, if we translate this formula here to English, it would be calculate, the equal sign, the sum of, and the of would be the parenthesis, from C3 to the C4, and 210. So that's another sum. There's a lot of other functions that I can demonstrate in other screencasts, but these sum things are very, very useful. You can also actually do a, so there's an auto sum button here, and that tries to calculate what you want to sum, and in this case it's summarizing the D1 cell, but if I want to change that I can just select them, and then you actually get that typed out for you. It equals the sum of C3 to C4. So that's a quick introduction to using formulas. Thank you for watching this demonstration.